welcome back. I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I am sharing with you three easy and beautiful hairstyles for fall or autumn. Actually, which one do you say? Anyways, these are my favorite types of hairstyles because they look a lot more difficult than they actually are. And before we get started, I would love if you left a comment and let me know which of these hairstyles is your favorite. All right, let's get started. All right, for hair prep, I like to treat myself once a week to a nice hair mask, and I hope you do too. Especially now that the weather is cooler, my skin is a lot drier, so I like to use products that focus on scalp Health. Because if you want to maintain your healthy summer hair or if you want long hair, then it all starts with your scalp. So this morning before I conditioned, I used a scalp exfoliating scrub. So this video is sponsored by Christoph Robin and they make my favorite scalp exfoliator. And it's this one. It's the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. This stuff makes washing your hair feel like such a treat. It feels so good on your scalp. Like it just foams into the most luxurious lather and it feels so soothing on my scalp. Like it really helps to alleviate any itchiness and this sea salt that's in here will help remove any product buildup, which I really need right now because I've been using so much dry shampoo. This also helps to reset your hair fibers and prep my hair for this next product, which is probably the most important product in my hair care routine. And it is the Shade Variation Mask in Baby Blonde. You've heard me talk about this stuff before. This stuff is amazing. It just does the best job at like brightening and lightening my highlights by reducing any brassy yellow tones. But without leaving my hair looking dull, like I feel like it still has so much dimension. So quick tip for using this, after I wash my hair, I'll just take a small towel and just towel dry it. And then I evenly distribute this between both of my hands. And then I just apply it from root to tips and using the towel will really help the product soak right in. And then depending on how intense you want it, you can leave it in for five to 30 minutes. And this morning I left it on my hair for about 20 minutes. I find that's like the perfect amount of time to give you this like nice cool blonde color. All right, let me show you some before and after so that you can see how effective this is. It almost looks like I got my hair professionally lightened. Like it just looks so bright while still looking nice and natural. And this washes out in about like three to five shampoos. So I use this every week and a half and this big tub, it just lasts forever. Oh, and this also comes in five different shades. So if you have brunette hair, red hair, maybe golden blonde hair, they have one for you. So if you want to treat yourself, you can use the discount code in my description below to purchase these products for less. And they also have these super cute travel size ones as well, which are so great if you just want to try out the products. All right, so that's how I prepped my hair today. I'm going to turn around and let's start the hair tutorials. All right, I love this first hairstyle. It's a voluminous rope braid and probably the most difficult of the three. So first step, gathering all the hair at the top of your head, just above your temples. Oh, and go ahead and pull out any small pieces to frame your face. All right, once you have your top section, divide it down the middle and I did mine on an angle. I find this helps keep the crown area smoother. Okay, once you have your two sections, simply cross the right section over your left section and try to keep this as tight as you can. All right, if you can do that, you can do this next part. So we're going to join hair into our right section and we're starting on the left. So gather all of the hair from above your temples and then completely section it off and join it into your right section. And then repeat the same thing on the right side, gathering all of your hair from above your temples and just joining it into your right section. All right, once it's joined in, make sure it's completely sectioned off and just tightly twist your right section clockwise about two times. And if I'm coming in from the underside with an underhand grip is the easiest. All right, now cross that right section over your left section and that's the pattern. So let me show you again, starting on the left, gather all the hair from above your ears and then join this into your right section. You wanna hold everything nice and tight and this is when you wanna pull out any face framing pieces. 
Awesome. So once you've done the same thing to the right side, join all that hair into your right section and just make sure it's completely sectioned off to prevent tangles and breakage. Okay, tightly twist your section two times clockwise. Does not need to be perfect and just cross it over the top of your left section. So I repeated this one more time with all of the remaining hair for a total of four sections. Okay, once you've reached your nape, continue to rope braid like one to two times and then just clip it off to hold everything in place for now and rest your arms. Okay, you know what's coming. It's time to pancake the braid. So starting at the top of the braid, pinch and pull small pieces of hair to fan out your braid. This step is what really transforms the hairstyle and makes it pop. And my biggest tip would be to start small and working your way down and then slowly make it as large as you want. And I like to make mine like super voluminous, but totally up to you. Okay, once you're happy with it, unclip your hair and just continue rope braiding down the remainder of your hair, remembering to pancake those twists too. And then secure it off with a hair elastic when you're done. Okay, how beautiful is this hairstyle? I love like how soft and voluminous it looks and it just gets better as the day goes on. Okay, let's follow up a hard hairstyle with a super simple one, the everyday French twist. Begin by tossing all of your hair back and then gathering it into a low ponytail with your hands. And then pull out any small bits for that effortless look and let's create our twist. Okay. Hold the base of your ponytail with your left hand, and then with your right hand, tightly grab your ponytail right below your left hand. Now tightly twist your ponytail counterclockwise about half a turn. So as you're twisting your hair, bring it up the right side of your left hand and up towards the center of your head. So it should look similar to this. Personally, I love the ends sticking out. I think it's super cool, but if you want yours concealed, just keep twisting your hair until they tuck away. Awesome, so that's pretty much it, simple enough, but from here, you can play around with the shape and take some bobby pins. I love these long ones. And starting at the bottom, just hook the outside of your twist with your pin, push it towards your head, and then slide it in towards the center of your twist. And then you want to repeat this all the way up your twist to make sure it's nice and secure. Also, even easier is you could use a claw clip instead. This is what I do for most days. And once it's secure, pull on any small pieces to add some texture and voila. <laughs> okay, I love this hairstyle. I think it's so chic yet effortless and works for pretty much like any occasion. Last but not least, a super beautiful voluminous ponytail that's much easier than it looks. So starting on the left side, gather all of the hair from the top of your temples to the back of your part. Once it's completely sectioned off, just repeat the same steps on the right side, leaving out any face framing pieces, of course. So now that you have your two sections, you know where your head meets your neck. That's about where you want to secure these two sections together with a small hair elastic. Give it a little pull to tighten it up and it should look similar to this. Okay, let's create another one. So again, starting on the left, gather all the hair from above your ears to the left of that ponytail we just created. And then repeat the same thing on the right side. All right, once you have your two sections, secure them together just below that previous hair elastic and just give it a little tighten when you're done. Awesome, so repeat this one more time, gathering all the remaining hair on the left side and then all the remaining hair on the right side. You just wanna bring them over top of that previous ponytail. Then secure your two sections together just below your previous elastic. Okay, so this is cute, but let's make it pop. So starting at the top, pull on small pieces of hair from around your crown. This will add volume and dimension. Okay, and then this is my favorite part. I'm starting on the right side and just pulling small pieces of hair from right above my hair elastic. And as I'm pulling the hair, I'm directing it like up and to the right. And this step is what completely transforms the hairstyle. So take your time with it. But I just repeated this down each section and on the left side, same thing, you just pull the pieces up and out towards the left. Also try to get like every little piece of your section, reach right in there, it will make a huge difference. And once I got to the bottom, like I was pretty much done, my hair elastic broke, I must have bought like a bad batch, but 
I resecured it and all was good. Okay, what a difference pancaking this hairstyle makes, eh? It's incredible. So to finish it off, I just wrapped a small piece of hair around both of my ponytails and I secured it to the underside with a bobby pin, but you could also use a scrunchie or a hair tie. And then I just teased the underside of my ponytail in a slow downwards motion to create volume while avoiding breakage. And there we have it. I love how this hairstyle turned out and only we know how simple it truly is. So there we have it. What did you think? Do you have a favorite? Going into this, the voluminous rope braid was my favorite, but now I really love how this ponytail turned out. But I really hope that you found today's video helpful. Don't forget to tag me in your recreations and you can find pictures of all of the final looks over on my Instagram. I'll link it down below. But thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all next time. Bye.